We're back now at 741 with a new controversy facing the runner-up in this year's Miss USA pageant. After saying that her answer to a question on same-sex marriage cost her the crown, Carrie Prejean is now doing something that has some pageant officials outraged. We're going to talk exclusively with Carrie about that in just a couple of minutes. But first, NBC's Chris Jansing has the latest. Next, let's have California, Carrie Prejean. It's a battle of beauty queens, and it isn't pretty. The Royal Wrangling started at the Miss USA pageant with a question from celebrity blogger marriage. Perez Hilton about same-sex marriage. Family, I think that I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there. That answer from Miss California made Carrie Prejean a conservative sensation and an instant spokesperson for the National Organization for Marriage. Because they don't want to debate the consequences of same-sex marriage. The opposing view came from a most unlikely source, another pageant princess, former Miss USA, Shana Mochler. She quickly shot a print ad against a ban on same-sex marriage, then told Access Hollywood that Prejean enhanced the body God gave her with breast implants paid for by the Miss California pageant. You really don't usually see the contestants, former contestants and present contestants, going after each other. But then you don't usually see judges going after contestants either. Still, Perez Hilton mocked Prejean's claim that her comments cost her the crown. She lost not because she doesn't believe in gay marriage. Miss California lost because she's a dumb a British political leader echoed Hilton's unflattering opinion and then made a joke that got the attention of Scotland Yard. If you read that Miss California has been murdered, you'll know it was me, won't you? So what started as a competitive quarrel escalated to a transcontinental controversy. Not lost in all this back and forth, both personal and political, is publicity. The Miss USA pageant has been getting record low ratings and controversy can be good for business. Mochler, a former Playboy centerfold, is getting maximum exposure for her acting career, which has included guest spots on Entourage and Dancing with the Stars. And Prejean is weighing offers, including one to write a book. For today, Chris Jansing, NBC News, Los Angeles. And Carrie Prejean is with us exclusively this morning. Carrie, good to see you again. Good morning. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm fine. I know you're in Washington, D.C. this morning to help launch a campaign from the or by the National Organization for Marriage, which is an organization that opposes same-sex marriage. And this is a big step from just answering a question as part of the Miss USA pageant. Why did you decide to take it? You know what, Matt? I'm just here to protect marriage. And um, the National Organization for Marriage basically just respects um, you know, marriages and people who support it. And that's what I'm here to do today is protect you, traditional marriage. You, you showed up, you came here on this program a couple of days after the Miss USA pageant. And you said, look, I, I just spoke from my heart when I answered that question. And I'm not sure why the people at Miss USA would not want somebody to hold that crown who speaks from her heart. Well, let me just read you what the director of Miss California USA pageant said in a statement that was just released. This is long, so so buckle, buckle your seatbelts. In the entire history of Miss USA, no reigning title holder has so readily committed her face and voice to a more divisive or polarizing issue. We're deeply saddened. Carrie Prejean has forgotten her platform of the Special Olympics, her commitment to all Californians, and solidified her legacy as one that goes beyond the rights to voice her beliefs and instead reveals her opportunistic agenda. Strong note to follow. What, what, what is your, what's your response to that? You know what, Matt, I never thought in a million years that this would be happening right now. Um, you know, I was attacked for giving my own opinion on stage at the Miss USA contest. And I'm going to do whatever it takes, Matt, to protect marriage. Um, it's something that is very dear to my heart. Um, and I'm just here to protect it. That's all I'm here to do. Well, but because this is such a polarizing issue, Carrie, such an explosive issue, did you ever give consideration to perhaps holding your fire on this issue until your reign as Miss California at least ends and then going forward and taking part in campaigns like the one you're taking part in today? No, I think that this is a huge issue right now. Um, people are very passionate about this issue. And... Um, I think that regardless of our opinions, Matt, I think that we just need to respect each other even when we disagree. Um, it's all about respect. We heard the, the somewhat offhanded comment on British TV made by that gentleman that, that clearly was, 
was um, irresponsible. Have there been other threats made against you since the Miss USA pageant? Um, not that I'm aware of. No, so no, so no, no people have come up to you and confronted you and, and threatened physical harm of any kind? Actually, no, Matt. It's the complete opposite. Um, when I was in New York, when I went and visited you guys at the Today Show, I've actually had so many supporters and so many people just saying, thank you so much. It had to take a beauty pageant contestant to actually stand up for what she believes in. So I just want to thank you for that. You know, because so I haven't... Well, we're happy to give you the platform. Be because of your views and because of your beauty pageant background, there are some people who are comparing you, I don't know if you've heard this, but to uh, Governor Sarah Palin in Alaska. How, do, do, you, <laughs> do you find it a flattering comparison? I think that's funny. I think that the only comparison is <laughs> that we were both in a beauty pageant. So, so you have no plans of uh, running for public office, anything like that? <laughs> not, definitely not anytime soon, that's for sure. All right, Carrie, it's nice of you to spend time with us again this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Matt. Take oh. care. Oh.